Oh, hi there, big boys. Welcome to Greek memories of Azur. Listen to the man, woman. brought new life to every corner, and have kept away those who have long since mistreated those lands, the Ulogs. For years, the Korins have defended the valley and kept this land prosperous by building fortresses and training many generations in order to protect it. Great battles have been fought and won. Quite a weird voice acting, I The Ulogs have gathered together and using a mysterious force, they have unleashed a war more devastating than this land has ever seen before. Destroying the cooling legacy and ravaging everything they have built. Now only the last breath of the team remains. Eternal Wings, please take this story far away and let everyone know what is happening in Nasha. Okay, should we give it a go? We have some very pretty art so far. Very lovely. Oh, it looks like it honestly looks like it has been pre-recorded. That's how nice it is. It looks like it's an animated film. And I'm looking forward to giving this game a go on the Steam Deck. Um, because every game looks better on a Steam Deck. Well, every side-scroller... Metroidvania especially, which funnily enough is one of my favourite genres, which is why the Steam Deck is such a good little device. So yeah, if you ever find yourself in danger, remember, follow our sigil, I'll leave it for you, thank you very much. Yeah, movement feels decent enough, moving around feels- oh! Killing stuff feels pretty de pretty decent. Let's uh, keep continuing on. Ooh, oh, I'm getting attacked by something, that's not so good. B, what's this? Adara, I'll find you, oh, thank you. I'll find you too. Let's oh, there's a, there's a crow. Okay, oh, we got some baddies. Oh my god, I'm dying. Okay, I died. That was I didn't expect to die so quickly. That's you cannot take many hits from the looks of it. I'm gonna be back to the start. Oh, I'm really back at the start. Okay, that's a bit brutal. I haven't even been like. Let me kill one enemy first, you know. All right, we'll give this another go. It's fine. Do 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 do. So you can attack whilst moving. Animation's pretty pretty nice and smooth. Almost too fast, it looks a bit unsatisfying. If that makes any kind of sense. I got a, got a little crossbow as well. Look at that, that is nice. Okay, got a limited amount of them. Not sure what that does. We'll probably find out later. Oh, you can dodge the triangle instead of B. That's a bit grim. That's fine. Okay. Let's continue on. Break that again because it's kind of satisfying. Can we get a thing for it? Okie dokie. Let's do that. Could we do the thing? And what have we got here? Adara, I'll find you. Okay. That. Now we continue on to this next area and hopefully this time you won't immediately die. Okay. That's much better. Oh god. It's still not the easiest. I mean, I'm not, I haven't been hit once, but you know, like, it doesn't... It, it's hard to describe, but I feel like I might die at every stage. Or maybe it's just because they're much, too much larger than me. Oh, look at that. It's very nice. Okay. Still, I'm kind of disappointed by the combat. I don't know, it doesn't feel the best. Warning and all that feels fine. Yeah, the combat doesn't feel too satisfying. Which is a shame. But anyway, continue onwards. And you've only really got like one animation so far, you know? At least you can stun them as you're attacking them. Not sure when the next checkpoint is or anything like that. Hopefully soon. Okay. Ah! Okay, right, come on. There we go, nice dodge. Nice. What's that? Ah, uh, thing. Okay, cool. I like things. Continue on to hit. Break that. Lovely stuff. And go over here. So I'm basically just narrating exactly what I'm saying rather than actually making actual commentary. Can I go in here? No, it looks like I'm going there. That's a bit odd. Okay, come on. Break that. And we killed the man. I mean, to be fair, the actual enemy attacks, like when they're taking damage and stuff, feels pretty satisfying. It's just the actual attacks themselves that don't feel so satisfying. Got a really itchy neck for some reason today. Whoa, we gotta run! We gotta run for it! All these games have this sort of thing. Look how pretty this art's- Oh, you actually can play it. I thought it was gonna be a thingy. Oh, now, here we go. We've got some lovely cutscene. That was a very short cutscene. 
Yeah, graphically the game looks really nice, but I think it looks better than it plays, considerably, to be honest. Um, too shame, but to be fair, not too surprising either. I think sometimes games prefer to focus on a certain uh, section of the game. This game decided to say, oh look at that water, that's lovely. That's just lovely. It's absolutely lovely. Alright, alright, and you can jump on top of those. Cool, good to know. What have we got here? We've got a woman. Another lovely art style. Comedy. Art? Comedy? Sorry, my brain's turned off. I've recorded three of these videos in a row, and I think my brain's now turned off. Greek, you found the way at last. We tried to get out of it. Thank you very much. Alright. Does We press that. And that did... Oh, oh, right, you now play as her. Right, okay. Oh, and she's got sort of... Okay, Ranged attack, I'm not sure what it is. Is it like a wand or something? Yeah, I think it's a wand. Okay, I'll open the door for you. Okay, thank you. Oh, and you can also sort of hover, I guess. Okay, and do that to. So okay, pick exactly where you want to fire. Okay, cool. You up. To be fair, this character feels better than the actual character, or the main character does. I don't know if you play as both of them for the entire game or what's going on. But yeah, it plays a lot better actually. I don't know if that actually is a Metroidvania or not. It, just look it gave me Metroidvania vibes from looking at the store page, so I presumed it was. Anyway, let's continue on. Let's break that for fun. Okay, what's down here? Oh, nothing. Anything down here? No. Okay. I want to go in there. All right, cool. Let's break that for fun again. I open this for the man. Oh, you can swap at any time. Okay. All right. Oh, it also looks like there's space for a third character. Okay, well that explains why the actual combat's quite dull. Because they presumably had to make three characters worth. And you can really move the camera quite far. Okay. Alright, I can't move her there and do that. Okay, cool. L2. Oh, you can move them both at the same time. Can you both attack at the same time? No, okay. Change the mimic action between hold or toggle in the settings. Okay, that's nice. That's a nice little feature then, so you can control them both at the same time. There you go. Alright. Kill these men. Oh, yeah, I think, I don't know, I, the other one doesn't do a lot of damage, but it feels better. So, hmm, difficult one to pick there. One, oh, no, okay, you stay there, you stay there. Okay, there you go, thank you. Right, what's this here? Up and B to go up there, okay, cool. Presumably this will let her into the place as well. Adara, I think it's this way, okay, cool. There we go. On this side, jump on top. Yeah, it's a fun little game so far. Definitely simple. Is he actually going to attack on his own? Oh, he is. He is going to attack. Okay, cool. So it's going to be cool when we've got three characters running about and trying to solve puzzles and all that. Okay. I like it. I'm into it. Oh. Go back there. I'm into it. Yeah, just put that underneath that. Okay, I really could have figured that out, mate. You didn't have to tell me that, but okay. Go over here. Ah. Oh. My bad. Uh, I was seeing the wrong solution there. That was weird. I jumped and it like, actually did exactly what I wanted it to. I mean, it's quite clever. I must be doing some sort of like AI. Well, like, AI is the wrong word, but sort of prediction for what I'm going to be doing rather than just following exactly what, like, input for input what I'm doing. Well, they're saying that. It does look like input for input there. So I don't know. But anyway, let's continue up here. Break this red thing. Not sure what that's going to do, but presumably something good. Okay. And we're gonna go up here. Let, oh, R2 and A to. Okay. So that's a way of telling him to come follow you or something. Okay. Cool. It's really quite a cool little game. I didn't expect it to be like this. I, I thought it was gonna be just a traditional Metroidvania, but it's it's actually quite a lot different than that. And, um. I'm not gonna lie, probably not as good as I was, you know, as I was hoping. I was preferring the idea of, of not that, but, um, that's fine. Okay, let's continue on anyway. Go down, unlock the third character soon, hopefully. That'd be fun. See what that'll be like. I'll get ourselves some currency. Yeah, like little men helping me out. I don't know, I always find games fun when you've got like, multiple characters and makes you feel like a friend, probably. Probably what it is. Anyway, let's continue on. Go into this area. Watch out, Erla. Oh my, these guys are a bit more scary, aren't they? They take a lot more damage. There we go, got them. Right, we're in a new area now. Not sure what's going to lie for us inside here. Well, that's presumably what the third character is, though. Maybe. Oh, we've woken up. Hello. 
Why don't you have a mouth? Why don't I have a mouth? Okay, Greek. Well, I can speak, apparently, so I'm not sure how that works. Ah, you're awake. Thank you, I am awake. Oh, hello, Mr. Dret. Hello, re Riam. Welcome to the winds. Thanks to the winds, you're okay. The scouts found you. What were you doing all alone in the forest? Uh, what happened? Looking for my sister. Her name is Adara. Hmm, I see. You're very small and there's a great many dangers out there. The scouts haven't found anyone happened to places like this whole table. So secure, but not for much longer, to be fair. The monsters are destroying everything. It's like a never-ending nightmare. I saw them, but even so, I have, to I have to find her. If you want to go and look for her, first, you need to get back on your feet, little one. Tell me what's your name and where are you from? I'm Greek and I'm from Drindle. That's impressive. Drindle's a long way from here. My, uh, my name is Riam. I'm in charge of food in the camp. But just look at yourself, you're very weak, I bought you some soup here, eat up here, it'll store your strength, and you'll feel much better. Thank you very much, love the mushroom. I actually do like the idea of mushroom soup, that sounds quite yummy, actually. Okay, so you have to regen, regen your health, not regen. Cool, feeling better now, I made it myself, we don't have much food left, but a hot soup works, well as everyone. Scouts haven't returned from their last expedition, my brother's out there with them, hope he's okay, maybe when they come back they'll learn about your sister Adara, and when will they be back, I can't wait, I need to find her. I just had you want to find her, but you need to be well for her, alright, let's go find Toros. Okay, yep. Okay, yep, alright mate, I got the idea, thank you. Very pretty art. So I don't know why I ate the mushrooms, mushroom soup, if I can just do this, but I guess that's to teach me that you can eat mushroom soup or other such ingredients. Right, let's leave. Look how pretty this game is, man. I love it when games are like, just, they feel like a sort of um, animated thing, you know, rather than just pixel art and stuff, because pixel art's boring, man. Which why I like Tales of Iron so much. Anyway, greetings, Riam, Greek. Good, you've recovered. I'm very pleased to see you on your feet again. Thank you, Super Delivery. It's getting harder and harder to find the ingredients, but I do my best to make sure we have something to taste to eat. It helps keep spirits up. Can I have some more soup? Yep. Sorry, that's all I had. Make sure I'm making some more now for everyone, but here's the recipe. If you can make them, find the recipe, it's easy to make some more. Okay, cool. Thank you. What do you now want me to make? You didn't tell me what the quest was, mate. You just said to do a thing. Collect mushrooms. Okay, and find Adara. Okay, let's find that man there. I don't know where he is. Um, oh, pick up some of those. What's in here? Oh, there's a man on a switch. Okay. Yeah, maybe, 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 maybe. Okay, lots of text, lots of characters and stuff. Cool. I'm not going to read it all. Um, yeah, you can pause if you want to see. But uh, I don't care. Well, I, mean, I do care, but I just don't want to... Um, I don't want to bore you with the details. It's broken. Oh, we want to see what's in there, though. We'll never know, we'll never know. Okay, read books if you want. I don't want to read books. Return the books to the shelf. Okay, cool. Let's go to find out where the guy is that we have to go seek. I don't know where he is, and I'm getting concerned now. I don't know what his name was, Tauros or something? Presumably he'll have a little thing above him, but maybe not. I'd like to make a per- Ah, that's it. Okay, cool. That's the shop and stuff then. Tauros? No. No Tauros. Airship? Okay, cool. Whatever. You're also saying words that I only sort of half care about. What's this? Save game. I will accept to save the game. Okay. There's Taurus, I think. Oh no, it's mushrooms. Okay, even mushrooms are highlighted. Who hey, the lad who was rescued by the scouts? Yes, you seem recovered. Riam told me you're looking for your sister. Hmm, I understand that you're aware of the risks out there. Our scouts haven't come back and you should carry on building this airship. Without the scouts, there's no one who can get hold of the materials. Without the airship, we can't get out of here. Do you realize what this means? Mm, seriously, I'll give you the map where you need to find your sister and you bring my materials and everything else. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Yep, 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 this map, hope we don't get lost. Okay. Thank you. We got a map, so now we know where to go. Okay, let's have a look. Alright. Map seems quite large. Can we fast travel or anything? Presumably. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I do like this game, you know, so far. It looks quite cute. What's this here? This is a fast travel, I think. I think that's the fast travel. Okay, cool. And what have we got here? Is it going to take a new area? Yeah, I think so. Okay, we'll do that. Yeah, it's a fun little game. I quite like it. I'll be playing some more of this game for sure. Probably on the Steam Deck. But anyway, we're getting the video here. You can get this on Steam if you like it. Probably other places. I think it's a relatively well-known game. Uh, well, not well-known, but it's re uh, relatively... I think it's not like a... I think Team 17 published it or something like that. I recall, which are pretty famous, I'd say. So yeah, that's cool. Hopefully you get some more upgrades and stuff like that later on in the game. But I don't know. Maybe you don't. I don't know. But I'm eager to find out. Oh my god, these guys attack multiple times. I don't actually know where we need to go from here. Collect ropes. There's almost collect ropes. It doesn't say where from, so... Something to be aware about here. We've got to look for ropes. But yeah, I think we're going to end the video here.
but it is a fun game. I'm gonna be playing some more of it. If I don't die, oh, I died. Okay, that was my bad because I was speaking at the same time and I'm speaking too much apparently. But it's a fun game. You can get it on Steam, so that's what me boys in point in time. Oh, don't tell me I hasn't saved that. So, oh, I hate it when games so even save it in the background. That's really annoying. Anyway, yeah, that's what me boys in point in time, and bye.